Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is packing for an event focused trip. What do I mean by that? Packing for a family trip or sightseeing or tourism is a lot different for me than packing for an event focused trip. So for a trip with my family, for example, I would do kind of a mini capsule wardrobe and everything would mix and match together. I would probably do a lot of black basics and then pepper in some color. And if you're interested in that style of packing video, I will put a link to one that I've previously done before. But this one I wanna talk about packing for a specific event. In this case for me, it's New York Fashion Week. Um, I'm only there for three days. I um, am there for one big show and then several meetings with PR companies and brands. To start out, what I did was I took a piece of paper and I wrote down exactly what I was doing in the three days that I'm there and exactly the number of outfits that I would need while I was there. And I specifically decided I was going to pack outfits simply because it's an event trip. And um, I just want to be able to get there and enjoy everything that I'm doing and be really present in the moment and really take it all in and really focus on you know the work there and also having fun there so in order to do that I feel like I have to take all the guesswork out of it and that means planning everything right down to the accessories. So that's exactly what I did. So I wrote down I need five outfits approximately. I could throw in an extra one and um, change on the third day, but I probably won't. Once I've figured that out, then I need to start trying on some outfits. And what I do is always take pictures of each outfit and then I created a special folder in my phone, a special album that's called New York Fashion Week 2016. And so as I'm taking pictures of outfits, I can go back and compare and contrast. I can even create side-by-side -side, um, collages to see, you know, like it's down to these two, which one do I like better? And then I narrow it down and narrow it down and narrow it down. And that's really important for a couple of reasons because usually with an event-focused trip, you're gonna be taking pictures. And if you're going to a wedding, there's gonna be a lot of pictures. You're going to a gala or a special formal um, affair, there are going to be pictures. So it's important that you like the way that the outfit looks in pictures. And I also like to take pictures because I feel like it's like a second set of eyes. And sometimes a picture can capture something that I'm not seeing in the mirror when I look. And, um, and so I like that aspect of it. And I also like to go back and look and reflect and say, okay, this is working, this is not working. Um, so I think the picture component is really important and something you should take the time to do for an event focused trip. And I'll give you an example of why pictures are important. Again, like I bought a Victorian dress that I thought was so beautiful. It's right up my street. I love a Victorian neckline. I love the lace. Very feminine. Um, you can edge it up with a shoe. But when I took a picture of it, I realized, gosh, that color is just not doing anything for me and it would be so heavily reliant on makeup and hair that I just don't wanna don't wanna do it. So that's you know an, an example of why picture taking is so important. For this trip I'm looking for a lot of different factors. I'm looking for something that will be cool in the heat because it's gonna be 90 degrees during the day and 70 degrees at night. I'm looking for something that will be comfortable to walk in because when you go to New York, there's always lots of walking involved so the shoes have to be functional. Um, I'm looking for something that's very modern, very stylish, very fashion forward. I'm looking for something that's me but a little bit elevated because you don't wanna change who you are for this kind of thing, and you're, especially when you're meeting with brands and you're posting on Instagram and it's a reflection of your business. But at the same time, you also want to be fashion forward. So I'm thinking about all those things as I'm putting outfits together. So I figured out that I needed five looks. I'm wearing exactly what I have on right now um, on the plane. It's a pair of flare jeans with a really cool balloon sleeve top. It's sold out, but I did give you a couple of cool alternative options on the blog. And um, very comfortable shoes with my Jet Setter backpack. You guys know I love the Jet Setter. I love it because it's a backpack and I can wear it as a backpack and be hands-free, which is so important when you're traveling. Um, even when you're not with kids, you just wanna have your hands free so that you're not like fumbling and bumbling everywhere and you can really handle your bag. So um, that's look number one. And then Saturday during the day, we have a couple of meetings. And for that, I'm gonna wear 
the same one shoulder top that I wore to the reward style conference back in the spring, but I'm pairing it this time with culottes. I just love the, the combination of these neutrals. It looks so soft and soothing and feminine, but then also very modern and fresh. So um, I'm real happy with that look. And then at night, I'm gonna switch into my fashion show look, which I'm very excited about. It's this one shoulder again, striped, really graphic top, and I like that it's so graphic and modern. Um, this top is by Alexis, and then these pants are just so flattering and cool with the fit and flare and the slit up the at the bottom, and then these shoes are amazing. I love these shoes so much. They're just awesome, so I'm really excited about the shoes. And then the next day we have a party, um, a shop style party, and then our plane ride. So. I was going to do two outfits for that, but I think I'm just going to do one and keep it simple. So I'm gonna wear this black kimono jumpsuit. It's only $82 from ASOS, so and I think that's still available. What I like about the jumpsuit is that it is effortless and chic and modern and simple. And you can really jazz it up with your accessories if you wanted to. You can totally change the look of it by changing your shoes, changing your necklace, changing your waist belt. Um, I think it has a lot of versatility. And it's me, you know, and I feel like I'll be really comfortable in that. So anyway, that's what I'm going to wear um, to the party and on the plane. I did buy a new suitcase. I needed one anyway. I needed a big, a big one. My other big one is just totally shot. So I bought this one. It's called iFly. That's the brand. It's very lightweight, even though it looks like it weighs a thousand pounds. And it can fit a ton of stuff. I fit everything I needed to fit in there in there. Um, what helps me so much when I'm packing are using these packing bags or packing cubes. They're just these square bags and I can fit my clothes, fold them really neatly and put them into the packing bags and it's so helpful. It keeps the clothes neat and fairly wrinkle free which is really important and I think it just makes packing a whole lot more organized and, and simple. So I would highly recommend those bags. I'll put some also on the blog for you guys to check out. So I think that's a key component as well. So anyway, that is essentially the thought process and the preparation that goes into packing for a trip like this for me. Um, I think this is the same preparation and thought process that could go into packing for any event focused trip, whether it's a wedding or a formal black tie event, fundraiser, um, whatever the case may be for you guys. Uh, so you, I can think you can use the same tools and employ the same tools for your event focused trip. I hope that helps you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Of course, let me know if you have any questions. Follow along on Insta stories at Busby Style and Snapchat Busby Style. Busby Style. Um, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.